Stay connected. Distance is not a barrier. Amazing testimony. Our solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. She had a surgery in 2007. After the surgery, she went into a terrible crisis, which lasted until 2018, above 10 years crisis after the surgery she had. And when the man of God, St. Edmund, was contacted, he prayed against complications. After the prayer, she went to the hospital again for the second surgery. And the Holy Ghost, through the prayer of the man of God, opened the eyes of the surgeons, and they saw a nylon in her room which they removed. After that, she is sound and healthy. Hallelujah! The Holy Ghost power! The Kingdom power! Man of God, there is another touching testimony here. Whoa. Sister Florence Odiyampa, she had a surgery in 2007. And after the surgery, she went into a terrible crisis, which lasted until 2017. About 10 years crisis after the surgery she had. And when the man of God was contacted, the man of God prayed. And after the prayer of the man of God, she went to the hospital again for the second surgery. And by the time she got there, the Holy Ghost through the prayer of the man of God opened the eyes of the surgeon and they saw a nylon in her womb which they removed. And after that, she is sound and healthy to share her testimony today. The Holy Ghost power is the a kingdom, kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power is a kingdom, kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power is a 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 kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom of power. Hallelujah. All right, sister, let's hear from you. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom of power. The kingdom of power. The Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, we have a God. I wonder why people are going here and there. Searching for a solution where a solution is not. I wonder. Stay put because the God of St. Edmund I am you where is present. Praise the Lord! The Lord, the Lord will praise the Lord! The Lord. The Lord. It all started this way. In the year 2007, I was so seriously in, I went to a series of tests and they found out that there is a growth in my womb. So they call it fibroid. After the whole diagnosis, they did the operation. I can say it is successful by then. But from that 2007 to 2017, there was crisis all over my system. I was going here and there, from hospital to hospital, from one test to the other, till the year 2018, October. The crisis was so much, brethren are praying for me, even when they hold a vigil for me. So because of that very case. Our pastor, they attack him, even on the very day of the final VG of that day. Because of that situation, they do so many things from him. So, they put me on 3rd of October, 2018, for a surgery. So before then, I'm still going from one diagnosis to the other, from one test to the other, they want to know the actual problem. They never know that the, another growth is there. And the way that one came, he came with a trick. Because had he been, I was expressing what I am expressing in the year 2007. I could have known that this is a fibroid. Even the scan and whatever, a 
test I went, they never saw it. Until one particular test that I did. They now found that the Bible was so big that they had grown to the extent of covering my left hand side of my uh, uh, kidney. It was so bad. So they now put, put me on the 3rd of October 2018 for a surgery. So before then, I went, I called a uh, man of God, St. Edmund, the angel of the church. He prayed earnestly for me. I said I should go. So that very day I went, within some hours of me to enter the theater, I had a call. Somebody called me and said, Sister, where are you now? I said, what happened? On the bed. They have stick the zip and every other thing. He said, if you are in the hospital right now, please, don't do that operation. I said, who told you? I never told anybody. What is happening to me? It is only the pastor and I know what is really going on. So I said, who told you that? He said, please, please, please. If I really want to go to this very operation, I should call this number. I collected the, the phone. I switched it off. I gave it to my husband. I said, forget about that statement. Don't worry. God has taken over. Daddy had prayed for me. The goodness was so much on me after that prayer. I do that prayer, there was a sensation all over me. Then I know that God is at work. So when I entered the theater, lo and behold, there was so much complication. Even when the daddy had prayed and canceled complications, they would came. The injection they're supposed to give me one, they end up giving me three. You know, when they give one, it will fail. When they want to call, I will scream. They say, what is going on? This woman is still feeling this thing. They will give the second one. When they want to call, I will scream. They say, what is going on? They have never seen this type of thing before. When they gave the test, that is why I was so weak. They started doing it. I was just hearing insides. They were just complaining, what is this? What is this? They have never seen this. The gynecologist that was the group, the team of the doctor that was there with me in the theater, they were saying something, you know, I was just hearing them. Inside, they were just complaining. I was just in there. Now, my, my bother is that God has taken control. So, I was there. After everything, they want to stitch no way. Complication was so much here. Yeah. And when I overheard them say, what is this? What kind of human being is this? A nylon in a system? Jesus Christ. And the nylon is not the nylon that you can think of. That very light nylon. It was a very strong nylon. And when I am experiencing that sense, it will be burning me as if they are cutting me some sharp object in my right hand side. Not knowing that it was that nylon that was so sharp that was burning me. So after the whole operation, they brought out the, the, the nylon. So as my witness here is Pastor Tukwemeke Ejua, for he saw it. He was there with us in the hospital. So after the whole Operation, they brought us the nylon. The kingdom power! The Holy Ghost power! The Holy Ghost power! The kingdom power! Brother, it was so great. It was so great. When they brought us the nylon, they get out and they call my husband and say, come and see your guy, what we saw. My husband was just short of words. They asked me, where did you carry this woman to for this operation? He said, that is the eastern side now. That is where we travel to. We believe that the doctors here are not so much capable to. That is why we went down to east. That 2007. They say, we should go and sue the hospital. So when I recover myself, they begin to... Uh, Narrate the story for me. I say no need because Jesus, the mediator, have taken over. The kingdom power! The Holy Ghost, Ghost power. power! So you so, felt a sensation, sorry. Yes, I felt a sensation. Yes. For you. You felt After that very prayer, my spirit was so strong. 
the fear that was on me before vanished. I was so strong, I believed that I'm going to get in there and come out safely without any problem. The kingdom's power! The ghost power. So after the whole thing, after the whole thing, the devil came again. He came again with an ulcer. The ulcer was so severe, even when they wanted to give me injection for it. How long have you been experiencing that ulcer after the operation? After the operation, I've been, uh, the ulcer started. Although I've been having ulcers, just a slight ulcer. Then after that very surgery, the ulcer increased. So getting to a night, the whole thing get inside. There's no way to find them again to give me injection. I was so weak, they think that I was giving up even. So that was the second attack that God has overtake the setter. The kingdom power! The Holy Ghost power! The Holy Ghost power! The kingdom power! Uh, you know, when someone is going through something, he does not know exactly what is going on around the person. The man of God, when he was contacted, earnestly prayed against complications. The person you are seeing here wouldn't have been here if those complications were not cancelled. Now, when she was opened up, they spent almost more than four to five hours in the theater. All the, you know, it's like a nylon. When you puncture a nylon, you just give it whole. And the water is just coming out. That is how the blood was moving out. There was no way it can be controlled. So all the part of the intestines had holes. Are you hearing? You know, why I came up to say this is because when the man of God canceled complications, it came to the extent that the team of doctors, they became confused. They don't know what else to do. It's just that like they just want the matter to finish so that they've done their best. But suddenly, by the power of God, the Holy Ghost power, the kingdom power, everything that was going on ceased. It ceased, and the whole blood was controlled. And note again that she received a call that brought terrible fear. And it was that call that would have brought issues. So when I reported it to the man of God, the man of God said that that call that came was death. So this is a lesson that whenever the man of God prayed for you, receive the word of God and nothing will happen to you. Would it be she called the number she was given? She wouldn't have been standing here today. May the Lord be glorified for the man he gave us to be in our midst in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Holy Ghost power. You know, the, the, the amazing thing there is, did you hear what the pastor just, just said? The, 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 the woman would say the one she could remember. But what happened when she was not very conscious, she cannot know that. Can she know that? No. Nobody no. can know what is. What when you're unconscious. unconscious. Are you understanding? Holy Ghost power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Holy Ghost power, super power. Jesus power, super power. Holy Ghost power, super power. Jesus power, super power. All right, well, we are coming. You see, the, I don't know whether we understand it. You see, this is exactly this is the crusade. As these testimonies are going on, this is by the direction of the Holy Ghost. As we, as we are, as we are breaking today. See, there are solutions going on right now. As you are believing the Lord who is doing all these things, 
He is doing that for you right there. Yeah. You will never die like a chicken. Because you are a human being, you are not a chicken. You see, the pastor was saying, the, the, the blood was uncontrollable. And if the, the intestine, you know what intestine? Holes intestines? Holes intestine. That was death. And all of a sudden, according to him, because he was a witness, that's what he said. All of a sudden, the blood that was pumping out, and the doctors had given up. Because it's not the first time somebody died in their presence. You can only blame them, say, ah, they're used to it. People die every day. So they, when they have given up, they don't know what to do. How many doctors were there? Five, five doctors. Five doctors. Specialists. Specialists. You see, five. She didn't mention that. How many can she talk? If she begins to talk the story here, it will reach tomorrow. Are you understanding? So, the intestine that had hold were, were sealed by the Holy Ghost. First pant of blood, he put in that one, finished, he put another one. How many pants of blood? They put that one, he finish. They put number two, he finish. Number three, finish. Number four, he finish. Then number five became the grace. The Lord. Because the, the grace of God that brings salvation appeared right in that place. Hallelujah. Sensation all over me, then I know that God is at work. Madam, you can only thank God a little. You don't know what God did. I don't know how happy we are feeling that you are here. And to be honest with you, it is clear to everyone who is listening to this your testimony that there are some of us here that would have died already, but they're still alive with us. And you are one of them. You understand? This is fantastic. Fantastic. He's an amazing God. He's an amazing testimony. You know? Amazing God. So, intestine having holes. I don't know whether you know what it means. It's terrible. That's so, it's terrible. That's why they gave up. That's why the doctors gave up. Five doctors on one woman. One person. Five. I'm sure, you see, they were not five initially. But that, the doctor where they went to, invited his friends. Definitely. That was exactly what happened. Is that what happened? Yes, sir. I'm telling you, that's what happened. They spent several hours. Five hours. On one person. Are you understanding? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Who did it? Jesus! You see, man of God prayed, the church prayed, the pastor prayed, assuming God didn't answer. So let us give you a very big clap offering. All these things the Lord is doing is for your sake. To so prove to you, you see, somebody, there are some people in our midst here, don't listen to them, that are strangers, enemies. This woman does not want to call the person name because she's not like me. If it is me, now you know how I am. I will call the person straight. Because it's no common sense. It is my head. I will just call the person. But she's very wise. She was able to cover it up. The person that have done this in, is in the fellowship. In the fellowship. Yes, that's the one the enemy wants you. You understand me? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you now? Oh, there's a pressure. There's a pressure. How do you know? Who told you? Take this number. Call this number. Call this number. That I shouldn't do it. 
If I must do it, I should call the number. I, I switch off my phone. She switch off her phone. Please, I want you to behave like this woman. Don't, don't, don't be cheap. There are many destroyers out there. She switch it off. I think the, the Holy Ghost is on this woman. You know? And all the prayers in the church, you know, have been keeping her alive. Till that, the nylon yes, is so much. Uh, till that, was there anything inside that nylon? Oh, yes. Not, According to them, because I'm unconscious, I, don't, I didn't see it. According to my husband and pastor here, because he witnessed it. They say they use it to tie, whether they tie the womb or whatever, I don't know. They use nylon to tie the womb? Yes. I've never had that one before. I've never, I've never had that. They say, so, you are someone the devil wanted to have killed before now. But he has not been able to kill you. And he will not see you to kill. Amen. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. You remember there was a woman. I don't know who of you can you remember now. A woman uh, here that testified. They left nylon and what they used to make the operation inside the belly. Could you remember? And that woman was in no relay center. That, as at that time. Right on this ground she testified with some things. And that the stomach projected. Ooh. And when they operated on the woman, eh? When they operated on the woman, they came to know why the stomach became larger than when she was pregnant. And they discovered that what they used for operation was inside her belly. And they didn't destroy the womb. And what did they do? They cut off the womb. And what happened as the woman conceived? Yes. Oh, Hallelujah! 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 And what happened next when the woman conceived? And the husband was very much afraid. Who said that? Somebody's. You remember? What happened to the husband? The, eh, eh? Yes, now. So some of you know the story. So the husband ran away. That is marrying an evil spirit. <laughs> A woman without womb, huh? And the woman to deliver, the brethren followed her. Up to three and four hospitals, they rejected her. Because, she, you know, they were saying, he revealed herself, they saw that the, there was a baby, but there was no womb. They said, no, 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 we cannot handle it. Everywhere that auntie went to where she closed her mouth, she didn't talk. Yes, yeah, she delivered with that womb. Holy God power! I am telling you even if there's a fibroid in your womb the almighty God shall bring a baby Amen. he shall push the fibroid aside Amen. and the baby will kick it Amen. and it come out Amen. somebody shout amen in this house Amen. look at that hallelujah anyway Madam, what will you want to tell somebody about this thing which the Lord did? What I mean, somebody is looking at you from somewhere, you know, this thing we are doing here is worldwide. Everywhere they are watching at you. Except they didn't hook up. The kingdom power! The Holy Ghost power! What advice do you have for somebody? An advice. My advice is that you should stay put. Our problem is going here and there. This is where it is happening. You move. It is happening the other side. You move. It is happening the other side. You move. Faithlessness. Stay one put. The God of heaven is here with us. And he can do every impossibility in your life. Through his servants. He said, Edmund, I am you that he gave us free without any cover. We did not pay him cover. Free of charge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those, you know, those who are connecting with her, 
uh, we watch, it's talking about the kingdom re rejoice. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, can sir. You, can you tell them? All right. Some are asking, uh, church, they my corner now. One church there from my backyard there. Uh, what she talking about? All right, we bless God for our lives and viewers all over the world who are watching us right now. This is the Kingdom Recovery Church of the Church Worldwide. And the presence of the Holy Ghost is here through his anointed servant, Saint Edmund. So this is where it is happening. Just open up and receive. And you see that the presence of God will, ma will be manifested in your life. It is not here, it is not there, it is not over there, but right in the Kingdom Recovery Church, the presence of God is here. So open up and God will definitely reach you because distance is not a barrier. A Holy Ghost God power! Bless God bless you, madam. God bless you, my dear. A Holy Ghost power! Ah! Please let's move our hands together unto the Lord Jesus. The King of Glory. Recovery TV. Recovery TV. Recovery TV.